Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. It's all about humanity. Hello guys, I'm Shirkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Today's video is being recorded in my garage, so it's usual and normal that you kind of hear the echo and the reverb and so on, but I'm just recording to, to do a different thing because I never recorded uh, an, actual, an actual driver video uh, out of the studio per se, so why not? What I mean is you're gonna hear some echo. Now, as for the 20.9.2 drivers, so those have been released just one or two days ago by AMD, the Radeon 20.9.2 drivers, and once again, like I say in all my videos, 20 is the year, 2020, 9 the month, September, and 2 the revision in that month, so the second revision in September. What is funny though is that, um, how should I say it? 20.9.1 drivers are now certified, so WHQL, QL, and I don't think that is, um, how should I say it, correct. And well, I'm saying this not just for myself, but for the amount, for the, the thousands of comments that I've seen, or at least hundreds of comments that I've seen on my 20.9.1 video, and most people had the same issues I did. So for example, they were using 20.4.2 or 20.8.3 and the 20.9.1 actually broke the freezing for them or they actually started having stutters, uh, frame drops and so on. So the 20.9.1 uh, driver is far from being uh, a stable and certified driver, but if AMD thinks it is, who am I to say the contrary? I thought it could be something different from the new 20.9.1 and I tested the 20.9.1 again and again I had the same result. So remember this is only my experience, you know? So your experience may differ and will most likely differ <laughs> and will most likely differ from mine because this is the problem with the AMD drivers. It is good for me, it is bad for you, it is good for my neighbor and it is also good for your neighbor but bad for your cousin and whatever. So it is really a mess in, in that scenario, in that, in, that, um, in that point of view. But otherwise, remember, this is only my opinion. So 20.9.1, I tested them again and they were once again having the same issue. So FreeSync, is broken in most games, in, in, you know, only in some games it works. In most games, the bottom part is actually flickering, is actually not flickering, but is actually having tearing, uh, is tearing, so you can actually see that the image is not completely smooth. But apart from that, yeah, I mean, no black screens, no stutters, uh, no flickers, everything works fine, but the free sync is broken. Now, I tested the new 20.9.2, which from the release notes uh, fix a lot of things and brings compatibility to the new Star Wars, but fix a lot of things. And as for the known issues, we have nothing about freezing. And since the 20.4.2 driver, I do not have a single driver version that works flawlessly with freezing, at least in my case. So 20.8.3 works flawlessly in almost every game but Forza Horizon 4. So all the other games work fine with the FreeSync, um, but Forza Horizon 4 uh, doesn't. So it is actually the only game I play and I have like 30 games installed that has problems with FreeSync. 20.4.2, which was the previous recommended driver, was completely, completely fine. So yeah. Now back to the 20.9.2. From my testing, zero black screens, zero stutters, everything works fine, video playback works fine, 
uh, everything that I know works fine, everything that I use works fine. Some people were, were actually uh, mentioning issues uh, with the Netflix app. So they're having black screens with 20.8.3 and 20.9.1 and 20 but not black screens, not overall black screens, just black screens in the actual video playback. So you have the video image and you, you have a black screen in the same video playback, not in Windows, in the video playback for like 2-3 seconds um, and then the video comes back normal and that happens again after and comes back normal and happens again and so on. Uh, and I know that because my girlfriend was actually watching Netflix with the 20.8.3 drivers and that was happening. And some users reported the same, so it was not a problem on my computer. It's a problem of 20.8.3 and 20.9.1 drivers. So, yeah, I don't know why they are in the recommended part. But once again, 20.9.2, no black screens, no crashes, better performance overall, but FreeSync is... I don't know why, after all these driver versions, we're talking from April, the 20.4.2 um, and it is the only driver that works flawlessly with FreeSync, but also has a bit lower performance. The new drivers do improve the performance a bit overall, um, they are stable for me, but the FreeSync, like I said before, is broken, so I won't use them. But I really hope and I do know that for, for many users, the FreeSync works wonderfully with the newest drivers so if your FreeSync works wonderfully just install the new drivers because in terms of performance and stability they are pretty good this the 20.9.2 as for FreeSync well if you have the same problem as me 20.4.2 it is well guys there's not really much more to say so hit like subscribe and share this video if you enjoy my content also yeah, I know these videos are kind of repetitive, but sadly it is what it is. Once I have no need to actually make these videos, it is a good sign. It is a sign, a signal or a sign that things are going fine with drivers and I don't really need to make these videos. But once again, thanks for watching, thank you and watch my previous video because this previous video is actually pretty nice, memory, frequency versus latency. So frequent several frequencies and several timings in the same frequencies tested so you really want to watch this video believe me so guys as always leave your comment and your experience in the comment section let me know what you think and what is your experience with the new drivers and thanks a lot for watching seriously sorry for my errors see you in the next one